Hey everyone, welcome to TechMint. On this video, I'll show you how to install Samsung Note 14 or Android 7.0 Nougat on new Eureka. Before we begin, I want you to know that this CM14 is an unofficial custom build for Eureka uh, created by a dev on XD developer. You can check out his article by clicking on the link in the description below. So if something goes wrong uh, with your device, well, uh, it's not my fault. So uh, do it at your own risk. Alright, so um, let's begin. So what we need. We need the device itself. We need the uh, USB cable for, for the data transfer. And two files that you need to download. The first one is the CM14 ROM itself. You can find the links in the description below and the other one is the G apps. Alright, to get the G apps you need to open this uh, link on your browser. It's called opengapps.org as you can see. Okay, now the page is open as you can see. So here we need to select the platform ARM64, Android 7.0 and then variant micro. Now why we're choosing the micro variant is because of the storage uh, capabilities of Eureka. Anything above micro uh, is not going to install. Uh, uh, that's because um, these uh, you know these variants need a little bit extra space for the installation. So yeah, let's uh, just select micro and then just click on the download here, and you can download the file. As you can see, the file size is 168.27 megabytes. Now, before we start flashing to CM14, you need to root your device and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. I've already made a video about how to root, uh, root and install Clockwork Mode Recovery on your Eureka. So on this video I'm not going to do it again. Instead you can click on the interesting to watch the video and learn about how to do it. If you are using a mobile device then uh, you can just find the link for the video in the description below. But uh, if you already have uh, Clockwork Mode Recovery installed on your device then you're good to go. Just download the ROM and GFs and you're ready to flash. Alright, after downloading all those files, just uh, connect your mobile device using the USB data cable. As you can see, uh, the files are here. Uh, I've downloaded it and let's just copy them to the external SD card we have in the mobile device. And here, as you can see, the memory card is here. Just copy it right here. Alright, so after all that is done, it's time for the flash. Now, Let's uh, boot into the clockwork mode recovery and uh, start the process. So you need to go to the settings, then go to the about section, I mean about phone section, and there um, go down, you can see the build number, tap it like uh, 10 times, and then you can see you have enabled the uh, developer settings. Right here as you can see, developer options, just click on it, and then just enable the advanced reboot and uh, hold the power button reboot click on reboot then we have the recovery okay now it's gonna reboot to the recovery let's wait for it all right so now we're here at the uh, cwm with the clockwork mode recovery menu now uh, before installation we just need to go to the wipe data factory reset section here and just uh, enter that and then yes wipe all user data now as you can see this is wiping data right here now it's going to take some time so uh, be patient and now so um, as you can see the data reset is done data wipe complete now we can go and uh, as you can see here we're going to wipe a cache partition and there you go formatting cache uh, cache partition is uh, wiped now we're gonna go into the advanced as you can see here and then we're gonna wipe the Dalvik gas yes and uh, it's instantaneous it uh, just uh, uh, wipes the Dalvik gas instantly as you can see right there now so let's just go back now this is the time to install our uh, clockwork mode recovery and the G apps. As you can see, the install zip, just click on it and then uh, you have to uh, select the choose zip from storage slash SD card 1, uh, that is your external SD card. 
and then you can see uh, we have the CM14 right here as you can see CM14 0 2016 09 on official tomato just gonna enter and then yes install and as you can see it's installing let's just uh, give it some time it says install from SD card complete now it was success we're gonna go to the um, storage slash SD card one again now we're gonna install our G apps open G apps as you can see there just gonna install that yes And now, so as you can see, the install from SD card complete. So everything is done. So uh, let's just go back and then reboot the system and let's see if it worked. All right, so we're here, and it didn't actually give me any options to set up or anything. It's just uh, uh, straight landed me here and uh, so we're just going to go to the settings and let's see if uh, it is what it is so about phone section and we've got the Android version 7.0 as you can see and this is actual nugget and let's just open it up how does this work okay that's it that's, that's the uh, that's your easter egg, that's all. Nothing much. Good enough. So as you can see, Samsung Mod version is 14.0. Unofficial tomato. Everything is here. We got the build number and we also got the Android security patch level. It, it looks amazing actually and uh, let's see how we got here. Cellular data is off. Internet is available only via Wi-Fi. You can also turn on server uh, data if you want. Add another email account. Well, you can do that from here now. Got the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM card, data uses, and you get more here. Uh, same old stuff. Display. Got this. Let's see how the storage is. Uh, same thing. Memory. Okay. Okay, so this is your new drop down menu or the notification menu as you can see. Alright, so this looks beautiful. You can edit uh, your uh, tiles from there. Android history, Google Play service. Beautiful. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for uh, new videos like this. Like this video if you liked it. Comment your suggestions or questions or whatever you have in the comment section below. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.